Police, police presence starting today on trains. KTV Zach Soss live at the Walnut Creek BART station with the reasons behind the move, Zach. Yeah, this is all part of a plan they unveiled last month, as you mentioned, to address uh, ongoing drop in ridership they've been seeing on BART. They say they know that crime, concerns about crime, have been impacting people's decision on whether or not they want to buy a ticket. So starting today, they're going to double the number of police officers on board trains throughout the Bay Area. They say that number will look like anywhere from eight to 18 more officers on patrol per shift, most of those officers being pulled from vehicle patrols. Prior to this, the system had just 10 officers working per shift. They'll be joining a team of unarmed staff already deployed on trains last year. So I've been asking people on their early commute this morning for their thoughts on all this. The general consensus seems to be more officers, a good thing. They're just not sure this is enough. Well, I think it's completely necessary. Um... There's obviously a shortage of officers. Every time we've ever called the police when we've had to deal with BART, the response time is ridiculous. We'll have an issue here in Walnut Creek. We won't get a response till Embarcadero. So BART ridership currently just at one-third of pre-pandemic levels, and public safety is only really just one part of their plan to close that gap. The system, of course, has been fielding plenty of complaints about dirty train stations. So recently they say they've hired more cleaners, increasing, increasing rather the number of tr times train cars are being cleaned per day, boosting the number of crews on overnight deep cleaning shifts. As for the stations, they say they plan to hire more crews and double the number of crews that are cl deep cleaning those stations overnight as well. As far as the additional police that we'll be seeing, we're expecting to hear more from Bard on that at a news conference this later this morning. For now, we're live in Walnut Creek. Zach Sass, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Zach, thank you. It's